In this video, I'm going to build a stereo Bluetooth speaker box using existing parts that I have kicking around and putting on a little Bluetooth stereo receiver with built-in amplifier that I got from uh, icstation.com. Let's take a look. I got this little CSR8645 Bluetooth amplifier module from uh, IC Station. They sent me this little module to uh, see what I could do with it and I have a I have a project. So this video is not a repair this time, this one's a project, what you can do. Now you remember a few months ago, I got these little speakers from Banggood. I built this little speaker kit, which I've been using with my laptop and they actually don't sound bad, but they take up a fair bit of space and you know, because they got all these cords, I don't like cords, you know, they, I thought this would be perfect to rework these units and use the Bluetooth board. So what I plan to do is I'm going to mount the amplifier board inside the speaker cabinet. And like a lot of these Bluetooth speakers that you can buy, they're, you know, they're great, but they're mono. And I want stereo sound. I haven't seen any that are stereo. Unless you get into some pretty pricey ones. Right, so you, you can get into some, some real high-end units that have got two speakers on them. But most of them, for the most part, are mono sound. I want stereo. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to gut a speaker box. I'll probably use this one because I don't need the one that's got the power switch and stuff on it. I guess I could use this one. It's got the power switch on it. That way I could have it so I can switch the power off. Maybe I will use this one. I'm going to take the amplifier board that's in here out of it though and I'll take the the speaker from the other side I'm going to put I'm going to gut it and I'm going to put the two speakers together so that the two speakers I'll just take the face from this side put it on this side so that the the two speakers are back to back bring the power cord out maybe through this slot here where the volume control used to be and uh, then it can be powered up from a USB power source, such as a USB pad battery bank or a plug-in power supply. That way there's just one cord to give it power, and this is a B receiver with, as you can see, a couple of BTL amplifier chips on the bottom. So that will drive these speakers directly, and I'll have a stereo Bluetooth speaker box that I built. That's the project. For today and then we'll try this out and see how this little module performs i have another one that i'll be showing off in the next couple of days which is just a line level but this one here i figured i would actually use the audio outputs on this one and actually drive some speakers as it's intended let's get building so i'm going to start out by just loosening off the see this is totally reversible too if i decide i want to put these back as my little speakers i can so i'm going to start out by just re loose, re removing or loosening off the screws here and then I can take the front cover off I guess I gotta actually take the screws right out and then I can take the front cover off and we'll just disconnect the wires the instructions here show that you can put buttons on you know to control the volume and next and previous and so forth this is totally unnecessary though because you can do that from your phone right the volume control on the phone will control the volume through here and your track forward and backwards and everything that's all done from the phone so you don't need to put the buttons on here so I thought this little board would be perfect like you can probably even mount it using some of the existing screws so first I'll just unsolder the speaker wires here from the speaker terminals on this amplifier and we got to watch out because these things have got fairly powerful magnets so any metal screws and stuff are going to stick to the speaker so I got to keep that in mind and this will be the cabinet I'm going to take this one I'm going to put this one onto the back of this one like that so I just have to remove the back cover for this one now so that's this one open and I'll just disconnect the wires from the amplifier board that way I can you know, access the uh, the rest of the guts I need. I'm going to take this little board out from the bottom because the uh, new board is going to be mounted in the same place. So I'll just take the maybe I'll take the amplifier board out. It might be easier to do this if I remove it. 
from the bottom as I, I'm going to need it out of here anyway. Okay. Now I need to disconnect my wires as I do need to uh, reuse them. So we'll just disconnect. Well, at least I have to take that one off. I need the power wire. I really don't need the rest of them, so I can leave the rest of them all attached. I just, I just need the, the uh, power wire. So the rest of them I can leave. Now unsolder the wires here for the, the blinky lights. They basically just have an audio signal and power and ground and I'll unsolder the power switch as I don't need that connected anymore. But we are going to reuse this power switch so now that I've got this back cover out of the way I'm now going to take the power lead that I took off I'm going to bring it in through what used to be the volume slot and we'll tie a knot in here so that it doesn't get pulled through give myself a strain relief and the positive wire will go to the switch there's my positive wire connected I'm just going to consult with the good old pin out. So we've got power and ground and then our speaker terminals and the rest of them, the mic and stuff. Because this has got Bluetooth so you can actually use it, I guess, to answer phone calls. So you could hook a microphone up there if you wanted to use it as a speakerphone. I'm not bothering with that because this will never be used as a speakerphone. I just wanted to play some tunes. So here's our here's our power lead our ground goes to the one mark ground as you can see here's our terminals our speaker terminals over here and mute terminal if you want a mute button microphone positive and negative if you hook it up a microphone here's our power over here ground and power and then I don't have to worry about the buttons but if you were to put if you wanted to hook up uh, buttons so that you could control it that would be where you would put them and I actually could if I wanted put buttons in instead of these lights maybe I'll do that at a future date and we'll put the play and pause and volume up volume down get some buttons and just mount them in the holes here that is a, maybe a future project but for today this is just going to be hooked up for power and uh, the speakers so uh, ground, or sorry, yeah, ground is here. So we just tack that one down. And then we'll deal with the speakers. So there's the ground pin, and there's the power pin. You'll notice that it's marked LP for left positive, LN for left negative, uh, RP for right positive, and RN for right negative because it is a BTL output and I've dropped a screw in here I gotta get that screw off that magnet make sure that there's no screws where they're not supposed to be before I put it together positive lead for my speaker I'll just connect that one here this is my positive lead just hitting the board here first okay my positive lead I'll just tack that down to this one negative lead and we'll do the same for the other speaker ah good that thing's turned off that was annoying it's a little bit cool out here tonight so I've turned on the heat And the speaker negative. And there's one more connection I need to make. That's the positive terminal for the power. 
we'll just pull that wire back. My positive terminal is the red one coming off the switch. So we'll connect that one up to the positive terminal. And then all I need to do is just mount this little board inside here. And uh, it's ready to go. There's positive. Negative lead back on there. I'm just going to get one of my little board standoffs from this other this other device and we'll attach that Now we'll take this whole unit, we'll just put it inside and just attach it right down, just like the other one was. Maybe even put it on this, this mounting post over here. It's only going to be held in place with one, which will be plenty to hold this thing, I'm sure. that no problem and now this other speaker terminal I'm trying to decide whether I should hook up these uh, these maybe I will hook up the the flashy lights what the heck eh? I'll tack down the positive lead to the switch that's switched on well I'm just gonna tack it down to like one side of the speaker because it just it has a little amplifier on here and a trimmer will adjust the sensitivity so um, I should be able to make this thing blink. And the next thing I want to do is put one on the other side so it blinks on the other side too. No, I'll just do the one. So this one is the positive the VCC. And we'll just take this wire down here and just tack this down to the, the switch side of the switch. Okay, that was down. The... Uh, ground is this one that's the ground wire there and I can ground that just to the uh, the microphone ground over here which is ground so the one that's marked mic minus I just tack that one down there This other one can just pick up its power from one of the speaker terminals, I think. It'll work. don't think it really matters, so I'll just put it on the positive side of the speaker. When I shove all these wires and stuff in here, this thing should be ready for testing even before I put the, uh, the screws back in it. So let's get a Bluetooth device and some power, and we'll see if this thing plays. Okay, I've got a power source here, the USB battery. Plug that in. So far, so good. I haven't turned it on yet, though. Turn on the switch. And it sounds like it's ready to pair. So let's just uh, look for Bluetooth on here and see if we can find it. I got a lot of Bluetooth devices on this thing searching Let's see what it finds the little lights are flashing on the bottom of this too it's a red and there's a red light blinking back and forth and I guess it's looking for a device to pair with let's try that authorization request 
successfully paired. Cool. Let's uh, let's play some music. Okay. Little light flashes on the bottom. Gotta tighten down this screw now that it's in place. I'm impressed, it actually sounds really good. Let's see if you check out the volume control. Oops, that's the wrong button, I got it. That works. Excellent! There we go. Not very sensitive enough. <laughs> the lights will flash. You can see them there, but they're pretty. Uh, they're pretty sensitive between none and all. Okay, well. It's better than nothing, right? Let's just put this thing back in here. We're going to tighten it down. And now somehow get this case together without it falling apart on me. Uh, I, I really love these, these cabinets. Of course, the real secret to doing these is once you get one done, the others aren't too bad. You put the screws in and then you try to very carefully place the nut in the side and kind of hold it in place with the screw. There, there's a, there's a, an art to this and if you do it right, it doesn't take long. But uh, if you do it wrong, you end up with a, a nut that flies inside and gets stuck to the magnet. And then you gotta take them all apart again. But there's two of the four screws in place. And uh, that will uh, finish up this project. There we go, one last look. I'll turn it back on. Turn on the switch. Now I'm gonna time it and see how long it works on this battery. But there you go. Once it's paired, I can start playing music and uh, it will play. Seems to start out at full volume every time you turn it on. Okay, well, that's okay. Doesn't sound half bad for little speakers. Uh, you know what? It's stereo. Hope you enjoyed this uh, look at this little board. Let's say I got this one here from uh, IC Station. So there it is. Neat little unit. Pretty reasonable price, like eight bucks and change. Eight seventy-five Canadian. Not a bad price for a little Bluetooth receiver board. Pair them up with a couple speakers. That's all you need. Runs off five volts. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.